hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel as you can tell this is a hair video so i'm going to be taking you guys on a journey of how i wash my hair how i um condition it also and how i take care of it after washing it this is just going to be like um a whole process of showing you guys what i do to um keep my hair healthy and maintain the length this is the hair when it's washed already okay i'm not going to be washing but then i've already washed the hair so <laughs> so this is when the hair is already washed and i'm just coming out of the bathroom so i'm just combing the hair let's go into the video as you guys can tell i just finished washing my hair and then i part the hair into two and packed one side and then this is what i usually do i usually like deal with both sides differently but the same way so i because the hair is too full i can't deal with everything at once people that have natural hair you guys probably like can relate you guys will not section your hair into like four different parts but then mine is um my hair is quite relaxed so even though it behaves natural sometimes i don't even understand but i sectioned the hair into two don't mind me i was begging my sister for planting i sectioned the hair into two <laughs> and then i started dealing with the side that that is out so what i usually do is that um after i part the hair i have like my hair products out in front of me and then the first thing i do is that i spray the hair there's this thing i usually use it's called the i think kudi cinnamon kudi tea tree and cinnamon spray mist spray or something like that that's exactly the bottle that's how it looks uh so i spray it on the hair it's tea tree and cinnamon mixed together i spray it on the hair and then it, it makes the hair a little bit uh moist and a little bit soft so i can comb through before i begin partitioning and sectioning the hair into what i want it to be <laughs> so the first step is that i spray it with my tea tree and cinnamon oil sorry mist spray that's exactly what i'm doing and then i work it through the hair through the whole section that particular section i massage it into the hair into the hair So at this point, I was thinking of what to do with the hair because I usually divide this session that's out into two, like into halves, and then I start working on each of the session. But then, each of the sections, sorry. But then I was feeling so lazy this day that <laughs> I didn't even know what to do. But I later decided to do what i normally do i don't even know what i was doing here i was trying to you know cut through the whole process but you know um i just realized that shortcuts aren't like always good and i then i went back to doing what i usually would do that's dividing the hair into two equal parts and then working on the back then working on the front yeah i do this so that the oil can get to the scalp and like every product i'm going to use can penetrates into my scalp and get through and gets into all the sessions all the different sessions sections of my hair so that's what i'm trying to do now i'm just holding up the front so i can work on the back i can actually like be free to work on the back you know the lighting the lightning is doing is doing something here but you guys will just have to deal with that so i go in with my uh jojoba oil this is the kantu jojoba oil <laughs> so you guys can see that 
and this is why it's very very like important that you divide your hair into sections and thank god i didn't skip this process because i don't know how i would have done this with that whole um, section of hair so i'm just working the oil through the hair i put like a good amount on my palm i'm just working it through the hair itself just you notice that at this point i'm not doing anything to the roots of my hair to the scalp of my hair because what i'm doing now is not even touching the scalp of the inner hair so i'm just applying it to the hair itself the body of the hair yeah that's what it looks like and mind you um let me just say this quickly that uh, uh i don't think products grow your hair they help i think they just help in maintaining you know maintaining your hair maintaining the health of your hair and then the more you maintain the health of your hair then the hair is going to grow Okay, so this is this is actually um, cold pressed coconut oil that is just that I put in my um, aloe vera gel serum bottle. So what's inside is just the cold pressed coconut oil. You can use normal oil; it doesn't have to be cold pressed. I just happen to have cold pressed in the house, and then that's what I use. So I really liked putting it in this um what do you call this bottle? I think it's called the chopper bottle or something like that. Um. <laughs> Because with this, I can get to my scalp. You know, this kind of this is like what babies use to feed. So with this, I can get to the roots of my hair when I suck in the oil, and then I just put it directly on my roots. So it helps me get to the root of my hair. That's why I like using uh, this bottle. That's why I put the oil in this bottle. So it's just cold pressed coconut oil. There's, it's not really something fancy. Look at I have the I had I happen to um have the whole bottle. A bottle of cold press in my house so that's why i i <laughs> used it and i was just refilling because the one in there was almost done so like i was saying i don't think products help grow your hair i think they just help you maintain your hair and the more your hair is maintained the more your hair is healthy the more it will grow so I'm not even going to say, oh, get this product and get that product and do this and do that. All these products I bought, I just bought them because, you know, I know that oils are good for your hair. And your hair has to be moist. You know, it doesn't have to be dry because that's what keeps your hair healthy. When the hair is moist, when there is moisture in the hair, you know, that's what's going to help your hair stay healthy. Imagine combing through dry hair. You know, that's really, really, that's really, really, uh, disgusting and that's very 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 difficult so that's why i always oil my hair and i always do it immediately after i finish washing my hair because the hair is still damp at that point so i dry the hair i towel dry the hair i use my towel to you know dry the hair i never go on that dryer i never use dry heat to dry my hair never i have stopped this for about three to four years and obviously look at the um, improvements so um i never go on that dry heat actually it kills your hair this is not even new news so i just use my towel you know to dry the hair even when i go to a salon to wash the hair maybe i went to relax my hair and then i finish washing it they're always like ah i want you enter dryer and stuff like that and i'm like no don't worry i will carry my wet hair like that home and you know i'll just leave the hair and allow the breeze the natural air to like dry the hair as i walk home by the time i get home it's already like damp and then i will now start doing my um after wash with <coughs> slash process yeah so i'm combing through the hair right now since there's already oil in it i've put coconut oil and the jojoba oil i don't even know if it's pronounced my sister was telling me that this thing is pronounced jojoba but i don't even know how true that is because she saw uh i think she said um was it kylie kardashian that pronounced it that way i don't even know but then jojoba jojoba whatever it's called it's a j-o-j-o ba oil so yeah so and now i begin to divide the hair you can't i don't even know what is wrong with this lightning but you know because i'm moving so the light is really affecting and this is black and white so now i divided the hair i begin to divide the back section into uh smaller sections the back section into smaller sections so that i can get the oil into the scalp so this is where this bottle is really this bottle comes in handy this kind of like mouth comes in handy um because i need to get to the roots of my hair the scalp 
so you see what i'm doing i'm putting the oil using my hand to trace what i cut because obviously i can't see the back of my head but i can feel the cut with my hand so i trace it with my hand as i put the oil on the hair then i do that for the whole section at the back and then by the time i'm done i now massage the oil into the hair into the roots into the scalp So at this point guys I'm done with putting the oil into the section of this hair into this section and you can see I'm massaging it into the, into the scalp into the roots because the oil is now on the roots you know the way I just sectioned the hair and all of that I can now massage it so it's kind of like I'm spreading the oil everywhere into the roots so now I'm sure that there is oil on the roots of my hair for this particular section so you can see i'm thoroughly massaging it also putting it on the strand on the hair strand itself and by the time you're done with that usually the hair if your hair is relaxed even when it's uh natural if you have like 4c kind of hair kinky hair um it's always like softer to comb through because the hair is now moist and now this is this um this is soy braid this product is called i think soy mamiya soy braid soy braid something like that i'll put up the product for you guys to see it kind of makes it's supposed to be for like when you're taking your braid down you're supposed to apply it on your braids you know to make your hair soft and all of that but i found out that it makes my natural hair like it makes my hair hair soft so i don't even use it for my braids because i feel like to me that's like a waste so i use it on my hair by the time i'm done putting the oil that's like basically the last thing i put on the hair and then i comb through like it makes your hair really 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 soft that's why i love that product it makes your hair like extremely soft like and the um the scent is so so nice so you can see now that the hair is so easy to comb through and then i braid it into one then I now do the same thing for the second section. So you see that this takes a lot of time. This process takes a lot of time. And you know, that's why I find that most people, you know, a lot of people don't have healthy hair because number one, they don't have the time. They don't have, they can't give this amount of time to taking care of their hair. And obviously, if you want to see the result of something, you've had, you, like time is obviously a factor in it. If you want to see the success of something, so you have to give time to it. So, uh, imagine doing this for the four sections of the hair so this this took me about i think an hour or two hours okay, it wasn't up to two let's say let's say about an hour and a half like one hour 30 minutes so uh anytime i'm doing my hair like when i'm taking down my hair you know loosening my hair i i just know that the day i'm going to lose my hair i'm going to dedicate that whole day to loosening my hair because i like to take my time to remove each strand of the braid like each braid but as I loosen, I comb. As I loosen, I comb. So by the time I'm done loosening the hair, I don't have to, you know, it's not going to be stress for me to comb the whole thing all together. People just wait until they are done loosening their hair before they now comb everything together. And you find out that, like, it's painful. The hair is cutting. The new growth that has come out with the hair that you made, you know, you've cut everything off. So I like to take my time. So this day, even the days where I'm going to wash my hair, like on a day like this, I already know that, you know, there's going to be, this, this, this process is going to take time. So one hour, two hours, you know, I set it apart for this whole process. So I'm doing the same thing now to the front section, applying the oil on the scalp and all of that. The same thing I did at the back is the same thing I'm doing at the front.
so as you guys can see i'm done with the front i'm done with um putting the oil on the front section as i did at the back so right now the next thing i'm going to do is that you see that i'll begin to massage it into my scalp same thing i did at the back it's the same thing i'm doing for the front consistent process <laughs> so uh yeah i'm just repeating the same thing all over again because i want the same results so it's basically what i did at the back that i'm doing at the front massaging it into my scalp because the oil is now on the roots yeah i don't put too much oil do like just the first few times when you do it you may notice that like oil begins to run by the time you're done with the whole thing the oil will be running down your forehead you know running down your the back of your neck that's because the oil you use like you put is too much you can use uh just put like a moderate amount a moderate amount of oil because um for some people when there's a lot of oil on their hair even like it causes dandruff it causes dandruff sometimes so um you have to be careful with the amount of oil that you put on the hair just put the moderate amount of oil you can use coconut oil you can use argan oil um i actually mixed argan oil into my into uh, the jojoba oil the kantu jojoba oil that i showed you so i put um argan oil in it still the same kantu argan oil so uh yeah you can use coconut oil you can use argan oil you can use uh castor oil you can use what other oil is there for hair um tea tree oil just make sure that your hair is oiled i don't know it just makes your it's what's that thing it lubricates your strands you know it's like putting oil on the hinge of a door it makes the door uh work more smoothly you know so that's exactly how putting oil on your hair is when there's oil on your hair there's no friction you know everything is just like smooth and all of that so that's the importance of of making sure that your hair is moist and oiled you see so i'm breathing it just the same way i did the back and when i do this i actually just leave it like that on, up until i'm about to like maybe make my hair or something i can carry this for like weeks you know because i don't usually go out so i'm just going in again with the kanto jojoba oil and i'm just applying it on the partitions of the hair those places where i partition my hair so if you partition your hair into four if you part your hair into four you just go in again you know just to apply the oil on the parts that are exposed like the partitioned parts i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but i'm trying to use the best of my um english vocabulary here <laughs> so and then i put the oil on the braided strands you know just fit, like doing some like finishing uh touches i'm adding some finishing touches to it and as you can see that is actually the whole thing yes in as much as this took like about 20 something minutes in this video this is like an hour and add 30 minutes of work in real life so yeah if you want healthy hair you have to put in the results sorry put in the work and then right here i'm going back in with a spray that i used at the beginning you know i just love my hair when it's moist you know and everything feeling refreshed by the time i'm done with this my hair always feels like it's breathing like you know when you put peppermint on your hair like my hair always feels like it's breathing it's fresh i don't know it's so so nice i love the days when i do this when i get to do this on my hair it's beautiful thanks for watching guys i hope that uh you learned something from this process and i hope that uh you also get to have healthy hair leave your comments uh in the comment section below if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments i would be glad to reply you thank you so much remember to subscribe and like this video thank you so much